Hi, welcome to the GF channel. Today's episode is part two of two part series about improving the sound quality of the 6 to 6. Um, today we are actually adding the tweeter and we are changing the speaker. And to do that, I'm going to go step by step how to drill this, how to choose the speaker, how to make the two way uh, crossover that's going to actually connect the two speakers and how to mount it into inside of the car. Of course, we are going to grab some documentation on online. So there are links in the uh, in the description for all the products and for jumping um, for jumping to the right time for the right stuff. If you're interested only in certain, let's say, how why, what speaker did I choose? Everything is in the description. Hit it; it's there. So let's start. Uh, as you can see, I already mounted these. They look quite stock, and they are strong. This is not going anywhere. And at the same time, you can push it and remove it, which is necessary because in order to remove your cover, if you're making something inside of the door, you need to remove this thing. By the way, this is easy. This breaks easy. This this angle here breaks easy. So I'm planning to somehow uh, strengthen it um, because if I break this, I'll have to drill another one. I have another one. And as you can see, you just measure here in the center. You find the center, drill there. I use this one to drill. And at about uh, 28, 26 to 28 millimeters, that, that's how big that hole is. You drill it and you don't remove anything else. You just plug in the speaker. The speaker itself is again, like the previous episode, a Visaton. Um, they don't sponsor me, don't worry, but they just make quality speakers which are small and powerful for their sizes. They come with these mounting points, uh, mount, uh, mounting um, for external mounting, I believe, which uh, you can omit for this case, or if you want, you can place them, but there is no, no space to do that. So I don't use them. It comes with this as well, which I'm not using again. And the most important thing which comes is this, that's the documentation on the two ways you can actually connect it. And that depends on your amplifier. Um, I'm choosing this one. So this is a crossover. Basically the crossover is whenever uh, the main speaker is uh, is running this one is not running and when this one is running this one is not running that's what crossover does so it your impedance remains the same so in my case since this says here it's four ohms right here for ohm impedance and the stock speaker is again four ohm speaker so these are four ohm speakers and the whole setup is going to actually appear as a four ohm which I like and uh, it's needed for my amplifier. So here it says you need uh, to, to make a crossover, so well, that's German, but there is uh, an English version, two or three way. In my case, uh, this will be a two way because I have already a subwoofer here from the previous episode. Uh, I'll, I'll make a two way sub, uh, crossover with, this, is, this says 12 decibels per octave at 6000 Hertz. So what does, what does this mean is you, you come here, you search for two-way crossover, you hit it and you're going to go to this website. And here it asks you for impedance of the tweeter, the woofer in our case, it's not a woofer, but it's the, the rest of the uh, uh, Hertz are going there. So we say 6000 as per specification. And now the specification say, says 12, decibel per octave, which means second order. Each order adds six decibels. And we choose this one. So this is the, this is the schematics you need. And these are the parts. Two capacitors and two uh, coils. And again, from Visaton, they make high quality stuff. Uh, I bought the uh, coils. They're not that big. And I bought the capacitors. Now these are bigger. 
these fit into that box which is then sealed with this silicone which is for um, engine engine head and uh, it's its temperature is good from minus to plus hundreds of uh, degrees Celsius so it's good and it's removable if you want to open it for some reason you can still do that with this silicone then you use some uh, waterproof connectors so these are waterproof connectors and the end result should look like this so this is already done for one door I'm going to do the other door there um, I'm not going to show you how I did it because the, the schematics just few wires inside of here there's even a little bit of space I've left for resistors in case I need uh, in case the tweeters go too high to uh, the volume is way too high for them but I think they are fine like that I'm happy still there is space inside these are the waterproofings and the, the most interesting part so this is the mounting the, the mounting point with with this mounting tape that's why this is um, waterproofed I am going to mount it in here I'm going to glue it for here as you can see the there is no uh, glass here it's rolled down and you cannot see it. that's the, that's the glass that's the glass here so you can safely place it here the way I did the wiring they are backwards compatible this is from the car the wire uh, it uses only two of the four and when you connect them like that simply without the new electronics when you connect them of course I cannot connect them right now but when you when you connect them the tweeters are not going to be connected to anything while the speaker is going to be connected and it's going to work uh, which means this this thing is backwards compatible you can actually uh, remove the tweeter if you would like and it's still going to work to make it happen with the tweeter you plug in that part here come on stupid camera you plug in that part here and that part there and it works I'm going to glue this here as I said so I'm not going to show you how to do that but that's the, the plan now choosing the speaker that's the interesting part up to now what I showed you is actually uh, quite expensive so as I said this is high quality stuff and it's very expensive uh, only the crossover parts are over 30 euros this comes in pair and I don't remember how much was it but about that much again so we are talking about big money for this uh, not like the subwoofer come on stupid camera um, big money but the sound improvement is way better than the subwoofer so I believe it, it is worth it now what I'm showing you here is different options this is the stock 6 to 6 speaker as you can see very crappy this is a speaker for from um, Mazda 5 but they also mount them in a 6 in a 6 in a 3 in 2 although the 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 number is different the the serial number is different don't know why they decided to to change it it fits on the holes this connector is the same no idea then this is a better choice but it's a 2 ohm speaker so that's a Bose from a 6 first gen this is a very good speaker if it's going to be combined with uh, with a tweeter very good speaker but it's 2 ohm so so it doesn't fit my description I bought it an, an year ago and I never used it and this is an aftermarket speaker which is going to go uh, from uh, to, to the back seats so this is from Kenwood it has the tweeter already built in with electronics so it, it's basically the same thing but it's built in and since the back doors do not have uh, anything to um, to get it up there is no way to make a tweeter here I'm actually going to use these at the back so these are also expensive 
because they're aftermarket but everything you see here is not expensive you get it second hand from a car that was something like uh, 10 euros for a pair and you need only one pair that starts from um, 4 euros for a pair without a connector and 7 euros with a connector and that's the stock one so of course grab it with the connector but i'm going to use the connectors from the bose because they're longer uh, so basically you you can see actually the difference is substantial from I'm going to choose this speaker because this does not fit my uh, parameters while well, this fits and you can see the quality of the membrane here is way better way better this is just paper while well, this is way better this circle here is also way better that's actually responsible for the, the high high tones which anyhow we're doing uh, Twitter for them but you can see this is crap here that's really crap like my camera uh, and if you turn it around you're going to see the magnet size so this is way smaller than this one this is very very big magnet uh, compared to this one and also the speaker is heavier because of that so this speaker out of the box should sound much better so even if you do not do the Twitter if you change all four speakers in the 6 to 6 with these you're going to improve your sound quality for like very 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 little price so about 14 euros you should do for all of them of course depends on what deal you find but more or less like that the only problem with these speakers is they do not have polarity in them it's not written in here while this it's written so you do not know how to connect that speaker uh, the wires also do not say anything these colors are meaningless so nothing you can do but I'm going to show you how to guess when you use those two so let me go prepare it and show you how to, fi uh, how to uh, find out the polarity of the speakers Okay, let's figure out the polarity. On the camera, you cannot actually see which is the plus and which is the minus. It's written here, but I've placed the proper cable colors. So black is minus and red is plus. The idea is simple. When you actually turn on for a short amount of time by supplying 12 volts, constant 12 volts to the speaker, it is going to bump for a really short amount of time. See? That goes up the mem the membrane or whatever it's called goes up. Which means now we have to find this one how it goes up. It doesn't have any polarity on it. I've already connected one to here to the minus and the other one now when I actually try it out see that goes down which means that should be the minus. Let's test it out. And now if I connect, that goes up. Good. This means the yellow and the red are plus and the black and the uh, white are minus. And to only what's only left to do, turn it around, use a marker minus plus mark it so the next time you don't need to actually figure it out okay so this is mounted securely as you can see it's not moving I'm using this double-sided mounting tape it's quite strong uh, also I'm using that side of the box not the bottom because at the bottom there is some grooves there are some grooves come on focus um, and I'm sure this is going to play me a bad joke My camera doesn't want to focus but there is a groove deep groove enough for here to not to make a good contact but that's not main not the main reason the main reason is water when the water is going down there when the water is slipping 
down I would like this uh, sealed off part to be as far as possible so whenever when, when it's this it's good because it's far but if you do it like that then uh, the water may it, it might be easier for the water to go in sorry about that this is a uh, project other projects this is for the automatic closing of the mirrors not automatic but when I press it with on the remote and this is for the automatic closing of the windows I have video for both of them um, okay so how does the Twitter work work out so as you can see here uh, I have added some slack to the cable so I can still remove it you remove those three nuts these re will release the mirror and you just plug in from this hole here the cable now the stock cable will go somewhere around here and up, up to the, down here you, you need to actually uh, solder uh, additional cabling uh, that's it um, well, but by the way while you're here uh, it's a good idea to actually fix this if you if you don't know this one is reversible with the other door so front one grab the other front one from another six to six come on which is not used that much this is second hand it's actually brand almost brand new as you can see i do that and now the, the door is actually stable so this is working there and you only need to remove the speaker and this pin and then two nuts here and it goes out it's good to fix it while you're with this anyhow uh, i want to show you how how does this look like i haven't still sealed it up that's the silicone i'll seal it up in a bit but i want to show you just a bunch of wires these are glued and the purple things are if you pulling for some reason if you're pulling the cable not to break the, the soldering that's that's the main idea okay I'll now use the silicone here and go fix the other side okay everything is assembled here and there everything is working the only thing I haven't assembled is here so I can show you how I have placed this speaker sits like that so the um, the tweeter is actually towards the front seat this gives it a little bit more uh, room uh, not to be blocked so I I was researching what to play so I don't get into any copyright issues and I've downloaded here a song uh, just I don't know if the camera is actually going to pick it up but let's see I'm happy with the with the result it sounds like music is coming in front of you not below you also the bass from the speaker is way better uh, partially because the speaker is better and partially because uh, when the, the speaker doesn't actually produce uh, the high noise high high frequencies it can produce better low frequencies so uh, I, I like the, the result if you want to spend money on one of the two, the subwoofer at the back or this one, this one is better and you can do it way cheaper than me, you can actually place here not so stock looking tweeters but something that's actually uh, cheaper, also the, the two way um, crossover could be both way cheaper or you can simply use a capacitor to hear uh, you can go way cheaper, way cheaper than what I actually have and it's definitely worth it. That's it, I hope you enjoyed the video, hit subscribe, I'll be posting more videos soon, bye bye.